Thank you for those, Martin. And you join me for race seven, the sixth group race in a row today on day one of the National Hunt. But this is a grade one event over three mile one furlong. It's the long walk hurdle. So number one, a fleet lipped for James Shea. Captain Bluebird for Ryan Costello is two. Fred for David Ladd is three. Full court press for Joshua Sutherland is four. Grand article for Alex Cherry, five. Original Sunny Pontypool race in sixth out. The Gloom for John Morgan is seven. Tigris of Gore for Joshua Sutherland is eight. Western Junction, Darren Thompson is nine. Yeomary implication for Craig is ten. Beach double over for James Shea. Twelve, Cartmel Lilly for David Ladd. Thirteen, thirteen lateral thinking of Leon Van Rensburg. National heroine for Paul Rhodes is fourteen. And Leon Van Rensburg has got night and day number 15 to go over three miles, one furlong, and they're away. Some top class horses in here as we get to the first of the 14 hurdles. Everybody skips over it, and we just bowl along the Tigris of Gaul and Beach Down Lola. So the centre of the course is National Heroine. Out of the gloom as they approach the second. The leaders are over it. And your first four. The rest of uh, are in a fairly long line. Out towards uh, the widest of all, Captain Bluebird and the White Silks. Inside of that is a fleet lipped. The majority of the field together. And just at the rear, as I said, is a fleet. Sorry, the one closest to us was Young Marine Creation. As they go over the second, there's a poor jump there by Beachdale Lola. There's now Tigris of Gaul to take a couple of lengths advantage. So it's Tigris of Gaul, Beachdale Lola, and National Heroin. Davy Robertson horses uh, Fred is there out of the gloom for John Morgan. And just followed through by original Sunny. No really implication out wide. Pushing through between all of them is night and day. Leon Rensburg. And through back towards the rear. There's not a lot of room, but up front it's still Tigris of Gaul. So they're through the first half mile, and then it's Tigris of Gaul from Beach Dale Lola. National Heron and Out of the Gloom as they all stream over the fourth. A nice, really big jump there by Out of the Gloom. Fast and quick. Jumps himself into third. As they make their way back towards the grandstand, it's Tigris of Gaul from Beach Dale Lola. Out of the Gloom and National Heron in. And one, two, three, four as they go to the fifth. And he gets over it well. Scott this week after uh, all the flat shenanigans last week. The Royal Ascot, which is looks like it's going ahead in the UK this year behind closed doors. It's the 8th of June. That seemed like a lot of sports starting on the 8th of June. Or something else. I thought uh, we were going to start again in the real world. That is, but it's Tigris of Gaul that still leads us over the six. Takes it well. Instead of the rest of the field. Happy to bowl along the front. On the home straight now. Another circuit to go. So it's Tigris of Gaul from Beach Dale Lola. Out of the gloom and national heroine. And being, most of the pack are being drawn along by Fred. Right and down he's outside. On the inside is original Sunny from Graham Clutterbuck. Wider still. Full court press. It's, uh, form figures of 1 2 1 2. We're looking to add another 1 to it. The winning post. And have another circuit to go. They get themselves into a couple of groups now. And still being led by Tigris of Gaul. And they swing out right handed. Away from the grandstand for a circuit. About a mile and a half still to go. And it's Tigris of Gaul still. By about five from out of the gloom, National Heron and Beachdale Lola. A length back to original Sunny Fred. Focal press out wide. Car melt. Car. Car. Oof. Call Martel Lily up against the fence. And two Leon Van Rensburg horses. Night and day and lateral thinking. Out wide. Alex Cherry's grand article. The only really implication for Hems. And then just a couple of the rear at the moment. Uh, can't see Western Junction. He's there. A fleet lipped, and we're losing Captain Bluebird as they make take the ninth. The lead of Tigris Gaul is gone now. He's being joined by Out of the Gloom. With Beach Town Lola just behind. National Herring moving a little bit wider. The one that's pushed through now is Night and Day. Up against the fence, a yeomanry implication. As they take the tenth, the leader uh, takes it together with Beach Town Lola and Tigris of Gaul. Just half a length back to Out of the Gloom. National Heroine's there. 
the only really implication lateral thinking's moved up now. Night and day is just dropping back a little bit. Paul Martel Lily up against the fence. And they're now swing right handed with just under inside the mile. It's Beachdale Roller that just noses in front from Tigris of Gaul. And the national heroine, Yeomanry implication out of the gloom. Night and day, Paul Martel Lily. Lateral thinking. So up front is Beachdale Roller that's taken the length advantage now as we go to the 11th. So just three to take now, and it's Beachdale Lola joined by Tigris of Gaul again. No length and a half away from National Heroine. These two just uh, starting to pull away now inside the six furlong. So it's Tigris of Gaul and Beachdale Lola. These two are neck and neck. Under a bit of pressure now is National Heroine. Three from home. They all skip over at the leaders, and it's Tigris of Gaul and Beachdale Lola. They come down to this final right hand turn. No line up for the judge. Put on a little bit of pressure now is Leon Van Rensburg's night and day. So it's Tigris of Gaul, Beachdale, Lola, night and day. National Heron's got a little bit more to find. Just behind those is Yeomanry application on the inside, lateral thinking on the outside, but up front is Tigris of Gaul being put under pressure now as Beachdale, Lola drops away with night and day. They come to the penultimate, they both get over it well, Tigris of Gaul gets away better, so it's Tigris of Gaul. From night and day, these two away from Beachdale, Lola, Yeomanry implication trying to run on the outside, lateral thinking, and National Heroine It's between these six, but it is up front, it's Tigris of Gaul coming down to the last, jumps it well and fast, gets away from it well, so it's Tigris of Gaul that leads by a couple of lengths from night and day, is going to try and run him down, running on well now again is Beachdale, Lola, but it is Tigris of Gaul inside the final half of Furlong, Tigris of Gaul, but here comes night and day, Tigris of Gaul is starting to tread water. Night and day coming up alongside now. Night and day is the line going to come in time for Tigris of Gaul. Tigris of Gaul. Night and day. Tigris of Gaul just hangs on there. Bare minimum. A short head win, I should imagine. A good win there for Josh Sutherland holding off. Leon Van Rensburg's night and day. He just hangs on to it there. Beachdale Lola run on well for third. I think that's yeomanry. Uh, Got up for fourth. Something yeomanry, yeomanry implication. So it is Tigris of Josh Sutherland. Well done, night and day for Leon Rensburg. Uh, Rensburg was second. Beachdale Lola for James Shea was third. Yeomanry implication for Hems was fourth. And lateral thinking for Leon Rensburg. Uh, got up for fifth.